Today is new bike day, and if you can't tell, I am freaking excited. I'm gonna give you guys a full tour of my backyard trail, and we'll see just how well this beast can handle it. More accurately, we're gonna see how well I can handle the beast. Lately, I've been doing a lot more pedaling without a motor and riding my Norco Optic, which is a sick bike. But the trails I've been riding are getting steeper and chunkier, which has left me wanting something with longer travel in the suspension. So I jumped on the Norco website to see what they had available and found the 2024 Norco site, which looked insane. I quickly fell in love with those colors and that coil shock and I thought, hell yeah, I need that bike. So here we are. Check this out. <laughs> are you kidding me? This isn't a sponsored video. I can't afford that bike. I got last year's model because it was 40% off. But in all seriousness, this bike is an absolute beast and it should be perfect for the style of riding that I plan to do. But there's only one way to find out, so let's go. One thing that is missing from the bike is a mudguard. I just got my first lot of Cutlapse mudguards and if you want to support the channel, they're available on my website now. Before I give you the full tour of my backyard trail snake run, I want to test my bike down the chunkiest trail at my local bike park. So I'm on my way to Eden to ride Old Tom. That sounds, <laughs> that sounds a bit sus. <laughs> Anyway, Old Tom is a mix of flow and chunky tech, at least for the first half. I'm up here at the top of Old Tom and I just noticed that my bike has developed this creaking noise. It's on the back of the car in some dusty dirt roads, so maybe dust has got into something and is causing that noise. Apart from that, let's send it, see how it goes. Dropping in Old Tom. Let's cut a lap. so much more flash. Oh, this bike feels sick. Deep A-line rock roll coming up here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. Oh yeah, smash it through it. Oh, slip the pedal. So that was the first half of Old Tom and it's such a fun trail, I love it. If you're ever in Eden, you have to check it out. First impressions of the bike was, it felt so good out there. Having that 150, 160 millimeter suspension on it just made it so much more cushy compared to the, the Norco Optic with the short travel. So I love that. The only thing I don't like about it is that creaking noise that it was making. So hopefully I can diagnose that get it sorted and then she'll be 100% good to go. Now let's see how it handles my backyard trail. Here we are at the top of my backyard mountain bike trail snake run which is covered in sick features. Now a lot of you have asked me for a full top to bottom tour so you can see how those features flow together. I figured this is a perfect chance to test ride my brand new bike and see how well it handles it. As you'll see, the trail still isn't finished and there is a lot more room for more features. So if you've got any ideas, let me know in the comments. I read every single one of them and try to reply to everyone as well. Now, I think it's time to cut a lap. Let's hit it. 
Here we are, snake run. New bike day. down to the stump drop. Oh, sweet. Into the side wider berm. Nice. That's right, Pika. <laughs> Obviously, that's a work in progress. Trail's gonna come around here. Have a big jump just here. And we'll join back on right here. All right. Rollers. Bone log. Into the step down. Oh. Creep that boy. Step up. <laughs> oh, and then you fire off at the actual creek gap. So that's my backyard trail so far, which it's feeling pretty fun out there. I'm loving it. You might be wondering why I didn't hit the creek gap. It's because I haven't fixed it since that last episode where I overshot it like crazy. Now, you might be able to see this sort of like this valley behind me. The trail's gonna continue snaking its way with like jumps, gaps, whatever. It's gonna be sick. And I've got a Carl Apps t-shirt to give away. For your chance to win, simply leave a comment and let me know what feature you think I should build on my trail. And I'll choose my favorite in the next video. Now the winner from the last video is GearMonkeyMTB who left this comment. Thanks heaps for watching and I'll catch you later.